If you're watching this video, you're probably interested in how to improve the lives of dyslexics in less than one day. My name is Jonathan Kemp. I'm a human intelligence entrepreneur and creator of Smart Wisdom, the next generation note-taking and planning technique. I've been helping people manage knowledge more effectively for the past 20 years. I am dyslexic. I didn't know I was dyslexic until I was 47. So during my schooling and early career, I struggled and I struggled a lot. Effectively, I dropped out of school. But in my mid thirties, I decided to, to put this, uh, this feeling of slightly less than of, you know, why can't I study? I decided to we have an English expression, put it to bed. So I went to university. Now I skipped doing an undergraduate degree because of my work experience and I did a postgraduate diploma in management studies. I got a distinction and then I did a master's of science. Nice easy one, international finance, trade and shipping. I nearly got a second distinction. And over those two years, the reason I was able to perform so well is I spent as much time studying as I did looking at how to improve the learning process. The end result of all of that, I developed skills which then became my career as I went on to help experienced professionals who weren't, most of whom weren't dyslexic, to help them manage knowledge more effectively. Now the reason it's so easy to transform the life of dyslexic in less than one day is because you teach them one new skill. Right now, dyslexics are being taught essentially one or a variation of one skill, which is to record information to use for later on. And this comes in various guises. So we're taught traditional note-taking. It's a 2000 year old technique, has, literally hasn't changed, and it's record now, use later. Or we're given laptops, but the problem is the laptops are just an electronic version of the 2000 year old recording technique. Or we're given recorders, but that's the same thing, record now, use later. The secret to changing the life of dyslexic is give them one technique which enables them to process and manage knowledge real time as they're listening to it, which increases their understanding. Do that, it's a game changer. And it's incredibly easy to do. And I'll explain what I mean by processing and managing knowledge because for most people, they've just no experience of it. And I will use it with an example here, but the, very quickly, the key is to filter information, is to break it up and then reconnect it. And as you reconnect it, you're checking that it makes sense and you also start to learn how to categorize. Using this example here, there is a need to find one good approach to help improve understanding and to help increase the confidence. What I do, if I'm recording it, I'd record it either like this or in bullets. If I'm processing this, uh, this knowledge and managing it, I will look for the important information so I'm listening to it and I'll sh hold this in my short-term memory. So the important information here would probably be need, one, uh, good, then approach, don't really need this. Um, improve understanding, uh, again, and to help, I don't really need that, but increase, I don't need the, and the confidence. And by immediately doing this, straight away I'm doing something very different. And the second I start even thinking like this, my listening and my focus goes up, which for us dyslexics is crucial. I then take what's left and I reconnect it. So I go need, Uh, one, good, uh, approach, um, to improve understanding, and where we go, increase confidence. I'm 
mean, you'll see here that I shorten words because my spelling's not great. And actually, what makes a difference to my life is not spelling, but is understanding and understanding real time. Now, just by putting the knowledge in this format, um, straight away, my listening's gone up, as I said, concentration goes up and my understanding goes up. And this has been tested by cognitive neuroscientists and for dyslexics, the understanding goes up by 23% above that that can be achieved by non-dyslexics, above. This is a game changer. Now you might be able to see, um, the other thing is not only driving up the understanding, but being able to use that knowledge real time. So if you look at this and you look at this, which two bits of these, is this information or this knowledge more accessible real time? So if you're looking at a lot of information, which of these two can you, can you see and would you be able to use really quickly real time? Hopefully, even at this early stage, you might be thinking this, but certainly for myself as a dyslexic, this I can use. So why does this simple technique change my life? Well, this means that I can go into any class, any lecture, any meeting, if I'm in the workplace, and as someone's talking, my understanding is at a very, very high level every moment of them talking. It means that I'm focused, I'm engaged, and when I walk out of that, uh, walk out of that occasion, I'm not thinking, gosh, I'm not quite sure what that was about. I knew exactly what it was about. And what that does in terms of like my confidence, um, my, you know, self-esteem, it's transformational. And another interesting fact, we found that when this was tested by cognitive neuroscientists, that the, the, quality of the informa actual information captured and of recall, again, went up 24%. So if you want to change the life of a dyslexic in less than one day, teach them a uh, technique for processing and managing knowledge because they will be able to use this everywhere. That means it increases the probability of, you know, doing well in exams, doing well in the workplace, but for me, the thing that really changed my life was that knowledge that I could go into, into any occasion and I would be able to understand things at a really high level, real time, and it became increasingly apparent at a level that was usually higher than most other people that I was in the same room with. That is how you change my life. Now, people might be saying, oh, well, we've tried things like this and it doesn't really work. If you try this specific technique, break information down into single units, reconnect them, learn how to structure it, it will work. And it will raise your performance above anything that can be achieved if you're listening, you're taking linear notes, you're using laptops or you're using alternative techniques like mind mapping um, or bubble diagrams or fish diagrams. This methodology here will take you up here in terms of performance. And remember, the key thing is the level of understanding. So fantastic. I hope you've enjoyed this video and please do like, also share, you know, share if you agree, disagree, but most importantly, if you know of anyone in the world who is keen or passionate about helping dyslexics or if they're dyslexic themselves to transform their lives in one day, then please share this video. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a brilliant rest of the day. Ah, oh, one final thing. Uh, around this video somewhere, you'll find a link where you'll find more tips on how to manage information more effectively. Thank you.